Hello, I'm Dania Ramirez uh, from the Literacy Center of West Michigan. And in this video, I will um, share with you a resource for those learners who want to become US citizens in the future and who are studying for that. Um, so this site is called US Citizenship Support and it's different from the, uh, the, the most commonly known, the US um, CIS site, which is a little bit old fashioned and does not have a lot of things that you can do just online and requires a lot of printing. So we found this um, other site that um, is very thorough, it's very comprehensive. And so I want to show it to you. Um, so in the first part, and, and most importantly, what I want to tell you right away is that everything is in English, of course, um, but if your learner wants to study at home and, you know, these, these explanations and all this looks a little bit intimidating, uh, you can go up here where it says select language and change the language of uh, the website, which is great. Um, and it has a lot, if you can see, a lot of different languages. Um, for example, a common language that we have in our, um, uh, among our learners is Burmese. You can click that and it will change everything into Burmese. Um, if you want something, I don't know, Latvian, then it will change it to Latvian. So this is very useful um, for those learners who are of a lower level of English and feel a bit intimidated about doing this um, at home by themselves. Um, so it explains the site explains here a little bit uh, what it, what the citizenship test involves. It says that it involves an English test and a civics test, and so this site trains both trains uh, the learners for the English test and for the civics test as well. So here in the English test, you have a variety of uh, different. Um, you know, uh, practice tasks, you have quizzes, you have a vocabulary tasks, you have writing tests, etc. And then uh, for the civic test, you have a lot of um, different uh, tests as well. So I'm going to show you a little bit um, uh, of a bit of these tasks um, so you have an idea, but please go ahead and explore uh, what you can do here. So let's start with the English test. We're going to go to this N400 quiz. Uh, and if you go here, you'll see that you have six different um, practice tests. So let's just go to number two. And uh, here you'll have, you know, like a, a question. And uh, um, you can just go ahead um, and listen to the question by clicking this uh, green button here, or just read the question. And uh, let's see, so how long have you lived at your current address? the right way of answering that question, even if it's not the learner's information, is included here among the answers. So then you, we would look, uh, for example, if we say um, four days a week, you know, uh, then we check the answer and it would say to us that it, it's incorrect. Um, so then we would go to the next question. Um, and here, for example, where are you currently working? Uh, then we would say I work here and then we would check the answer and then th that would say that it is correct. Um, let's go up here because from here you can also access uh, the, um, the menu of tests. Uh, let's go for example to a reading test. Um, here, um, according to the explanation that they give here, they say that um, the, the interviewer, the officer, will ask you to read certain phrases or, you know, certain uh, questions. And so the best is to have the learner practice reading these questions. And um, so what the learner can do is to read this first and then listen to the correct pronunciation of the sentence and go comparing. Um, another thing that you can do in the English test is small talk. Um, so, for example, um, the the officer will ask your learner, you know, some questions. And so the program gives you a sample response. Uh, you can also listen to the question. 
Um, and finally here, which is really cool, it tells you about commands. So uh, the officer will also tell your learner to do certain things. You can listen to it. And then you can just kind of click which one of the pictures um, kind of uh, involves responding to that command. So for example, when the officer says sign your name here, then what would your learner end up doing? So in this case, it would be this. So um, then uh, uh, that would be correct. So then we go to the next one. Now in the civics test, it also has a variety of um, different tasks. Uh, so you have typical, the typical questions um, and you have a variety of topics and you can also listen to the question first and then your learner can practice uh, telling the answer. If they don't know the answer, then you can go here and kind of check the explanation. Uh, another uh, uh, way of studying for this and kind of practice is with flashcards. So for example, they will ask you here, what is the supreme law of the land? You can listen to the question as well. And then by clicking the flashcard, you can see what the answer is. Um, finally, you have here in government um, some basic questions that uh, officers ask to uh, people who are taking the test. And uh, these are the kind of the, the standard answers. But here also gives you some um, links to the information that you will need to answer these particular questions about your state, because of course every state is different. Um, finally, here you have tips about you know how to take the test, how to prepare, etc. And uh, so maybe going through these topics could also be a good activity with your learner. Um, and so what I would suggest is that um, using Zoom or um, even through the phone, WhatsApp, uh, you can both go to the website or um, you can have your learner do this as an assignment. Um, and so then you can just talk about, um, you know, questions or, or uh, doubts that the learner has. But this is a great activity to do together online. And so your learner doesn't have to stop um, practicing for his citizen or her citizenship test while um, you uh, are not able to convene in person. I hope this is helpful um, and that you that 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 you can use it in your lessons. Um, and that's all. So um, let us know if you have any questions about this, and we'll see you around.